What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, I got a jam-packed video for you guys, so please keep it locked. Also, guys, please make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you help this video get at least 1,000 likes. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, guys, I'm going to kick it off reviewing this heat map of the market to close out the week we had, guys. And as you can see, it is filled with lots of red and little sprinkles of green. This is just a culmination and a somewhat accurate reflection of the week it was. Okay, guys, but check it out. These stocks are busting through support. A lot of stocks has been selling off hard. And so we are getting to very, very critical levels of support. Some have even breached and broke through, guys. And so we got to talk all about it. Speaking of that, guys, check this out. Their fear and greed index is indicating that we are in extreme fear okay so right now the market is in extreme fear but remember this guys when people are fearful that is the time you get greedy and when people are greedy that's when you should get fearful okay so right now we're in extreme fear and i want you guys to understand typically this leads to a reversal all right you and your job is to remain patient okay that means dollar cost average, stick to your trading plan. See stocks that you know, like, and love, and if they're at attractive levels or in your buy zone and or a chance for you to average down, this is when you do so because when it take off, they're gonna shoot to the moon and then this fear and greed bar that's sitting at 24 is gonna be sitting at 96 and you're gonna be like, man, I missed it. I could've got all these stocks. Coach tells us about when they were low, now they're high and I don't want you chasing or had a fear of missing out. So do the work when the fear is here. JP Morgan, I featured a video earlier that talked about a 20% crash that was going to take place. And I wanna show you guys just my thoughts in terms of how, I don't wanna say it was spot on, but a lot of what was talked about in that video, please watch it if you haven't, has came to fruition in some regards. I have PayPal pulled up for instance, and this one is normally a $60 stock. This one is all the way down here, currently at $50.40, down over 2.5% on the day. On the week, it is down 6%, okay? And in the past month alone, it is down 12%. That's something just of note, guys. But listen, because a reversal is coming soon, if this is a stock that you want to take a flyer on it. This is the stock you want to buy the dip on it. This is a stock you want to hold long term for. These are some attractive levels to start considering that and or dollar cost averaging, getting your position established. Okay. Check this one out. Palantir. The ticker symbol on this one is PLTR sitting at $15.03. This one was down almost one and a half percent. On the week, it was down nearly 7%. And in the past month, it's only down a little over one and a half percent. But as you can see, look at this full move. It came down here from 1490. That was the low. It went as high as 1818. This is why I teach you guys to buy low, sell high, because look, it has almost made a full round robin move sitting back down here at 15 in route to coming back to guess what? 1490. Remember, guys, there's no coincidences in the market. I always teach you guys to remember these closing prices. Remember these numbers. And I'm talking about the cent. Don't just think 14, 1490, 1503. The three cent matter. All of these things matter because when they are trying to trick, trap, and frustrate you guys, what happens is they'll take it to 1504 or 1502. And you will see things like man the stock just reversed right at that price it was about to hit so i'm trying to teach you these little nuances of the game this is just from time in this game dominating at such a high level for such a long time i want you to know these little tricks you're not going to find this in a book you're not going to find this online okay it takes somebody that's really been doing it to kind of point these things out and that's why i'm calling your attention to it guys check this one out tesla ticker symbol on this one is TSLA. This one is sitting at 207, man. We knocked this one off the park. In Discord on Friday, guys, I talked about at 212, 211-ish buy a put. That was heavy resistance. 
And for those that did, I want to say major sue. Let me know down in the comments below if you made money off of that call inside of Discord. But on top of that, guys, how are we able to consistently be pinpoint spot on with the things we talk about and discuss as it relates to the technical piece of this, guys? This one was at 212. We could probably check it out here, guys. Yep. 211, 212, just like I told you it would be. And it went all the way down here to look 207. That 206 was a nice move okay for anybody that was took part in it partially or wrote it all the way down okay it popped up here to 210 only to fade back down further to 205.99 listen guys if this goes lower i want you guys to be looking at 202 and then that round number of 200 but ultimately guys 196 is definitely in play if the selling continues but that's why we say if this then that check this out guys for the week this one was down nearly three percent i'm just going to go ahead and call it three percent and in the past month it is down 14 percent or roughly 35 dollars okay so listen tesla is entering a level not right here but 200 and if you see the 190s it's going to get my attention in terms of Okay, now it might be time to buy it and take it back to the upside, okay? So I want to make sure it's on your radar because a lot of these stocks is gonna reverse soon, whether it's early November or mid-November, but you need to be preparing now. You need to be anticipating it now, not front running, not getting ahead of yourself, but understanding coach is trying to teach us. He's trying to slow us down and show us when these stocks are coming down, they are getting to critical levels that oftentimes correlated with other things like the fear and greed signifies a reversal is coming okay just little things i want to put on your radar guys check this one out google ticker symbol g-o-o-g-l currently sitting at 122 dollars even guys this is one of my favorite big tech companies this is one that if you don't have this down at these levels and if you see it at 120 especially or below 120 like 119 80 118 75 things like that 117 50 guys that is a buy okay i'm just going to make it plain for you i still have my 150 dollars price target on this one and so if you are a long-term investor and you want to get in low ride it up there sell it rinse and repeat that is a viable strategy for getting a nice return on your investment inside a quality company. Like I said before, guys, this one was overdone with the sell-off that it experienced after earnings. And so all it did was gave some people a chance to get in for the first time. It gave others, like myself, a chance to buy more shares, average in a little more. My average cost is lower than this, but if I can get some shares at 122, a few more at 120, now I'll have even more shares, more money, more capital in it when it makes its run to my target of 150, okay? And listen, my target is 150, but I'm fine at 149, okay? I gotta teach you guys that too. Trying to hold for that last little 60 cent, 99 cent, 20 cent, sometimes it's not worth it if you see the, the reversal is about to come. And so guys, getting in the range is good enough. I just wanna put that on you, okay? SCHD sitting at 66.90 currently down two percent let me show you guys this so you guys can understand that you go, you're going to when you have to be in this for the long haul you have to be in this for the right reasons okay guys i'm down currently 1.9 percent in this particular play okay this is a play i have at 68 and then it went to 64. I locked in some profits and I kept some. So I like to get between 1,000, 125 shares on the low end, 1,000 on the high end, okay? But then when it goes up and I see it hit resistance, why would I let that profit go away? Why would I let my gains of me doing all this work and all this stuff I teach you guys every day, why would I let that go away? So you lock in some profits. Now, look, it is back to my average cost and lower currently sitting at 66.90 okay so because it's here guess what we are going to do when we knock our plate money team get ready for this because when we hit the home run monday and tuesday i'm putting the home run money from the money team plays and the plays we call out in discord into this 
definitely because it is at 6690 and what will that do that's going to lower my average cost and we are to take advantage of these stocks that we know like and love when they are at these attractive levels okay and especially if you are in it for the long haul and it comes back to or through and below your average cost guys you got to scoop it up okay so that's what i'll be doing with this one let's go ahead and check out what it looks like for the week down three percent and then for the month it is down a little bit over five percent this is the lowest it's been in a long time all that means is that it's time to go shopping now you do got to manage your risk not necessarily with with stuff like this but with anything you want to manage your risk whether it's this whether it's your growth stocks whether it's your tech stocks whether it's your dividend plays okay you need to know okay but what is my limit that i'll go down so check this out guys i'm not tripping on being down 1.9%. What I don't do is go down 40%. Does that make sense? I don't go down 80%. I have a stop loss that helps navigate and mitigate some of that risk, okay? So keep that in mind. Do not miss that nugget. Do not miss that message, okay? And then check this one out, SoFi, all right? Sitting at $6.94. It was down a little bit slightly on the day, up and after hours. But on the week, this was down nearly 5%. And in the past month, this one is down 10%. This is a buying opportunity for those that didn't get it at eight, didn't get it at seven. Now we have served up the sixes for you, okay? Anything in the sixes up to $6 even, okay? Now below $6 even, I'm going to teach you guys how to begin to properly manage what you're doing. All right. But six to eight is the buy zone range. Please understand that. OK, so I want you guys preferably to be getting this at the sixes, sevens and eights because why we're taking this to 10 and eventually twelve dollars on the short term. OK, stick to the plan, guys, but also manage your risk to the downside in case we need to pivot and or abort reassess and come back to the table okay this is a marathon run your race at your pace but maintain being surgical okay listen guys i just wanted to review some stocks with you guys that has been beaten down but they are coming to a level that a reversal was coming soon possibly sometime in november but we don't guess we don't gamble we react so we will see regardless if the reversal comes or not i just want you to be prepared i want these type of things on your radar so we can get a great return on our investment because we did the work when nobody else was okay listen guys we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace